Hi there and welcome back to Wing Command. I am Byron and we are still in the Fireka system. Like you can evacuate the whole planet in one day. Field. How about you? Oh, you blah, 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 blah. get out of my way, spirit. Don't you see the kitties? Break the tank. Drakai. Yeah, well, the Imperial God is welcome to try. Ha <laughs> ha! The Imperial God flew into an asteroid! That's awesome. Uh, actually, no, that was... You were just really close to me and... I did actually ram it. No, it's not dead yet. God damn it.
Yeah, well, it said it, it flew away. Okay. What is damaged? Eject the system. Well, if that is all, I do not eject anyway. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's very tempting to try and shoot the asteroids. I don't really know. Is it just me? Well, probably not. If somebody says, is it just me, then it's never just him. But, um, yeah. I always feel that urge to blow up the asteroids, and that gets me killed very often. So you learn a lesson for life here in Wing Commander. Try to resist your urges. Try to decide rationally what you're going to do, and evading them is the proper course of action, not shooting them. Good. So we just killed one, but it was a Drakai. And the other two apparently were scared. And I want to resort to cheating now, because I don't want those guys to actually blow up my Draymond here. Boom, baby. Wait, where are they? Yeah, I see them too. Where's the other one? There. Good riddance. Yeah, that was actually easy, I know. But the problem is, if you have like six Drowthies, they will just eat your drainer. And we have the same situation here, apparently. You will leave my Drayman in peace. Son of a bee. Okay, what now? Where are we? Nerf 3, I think the Draymond is supposed to jump out here. Right? Or not? Do we have to go to Nerf 3? Objective reached. Are you jumping out? Yes, you're jumping out. Very nice. Moving on. What is that in the middle? What is that? Well, don't annoy me. Whatever it was, it jumped out. Okay, well then. Break an attack. Uh, I thought I had to protect something. I didn't even get a good look at it, but it was a great uh, dot. So it could not have been a Karathi. Come on, recharge. Are we fighting? Yeah, we are flying at maximum speed. Good riddance. For more of a wing. Leave spirit in peace. That was a nice shot. Yeah, it's easy because it was f the kitty was focusing on spirit and not paying attention to me and therefore not evading. So, well, but I really would love to know what that great dot was that jumped out. Hmm. Guess we will never know. Or well, you could try to get that game on eBay and play it yourself. Oh great, I missed the claw again. <coughs> it's pretty expensive though. <coughs> I bought my version <coughs> in London back in the day. The Virgin Mega Store, where it still existed. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. Mm -hmm. I got the impression too. Welcome back, Lieutenant Colonel. Do you have anything to report? The kiddies. Yes, sir. One of the Freka transports was under attack at NF2. The Kirati tried to intercept, but they didn't have a chance. Transport made to jump out system, sir. The wing of Gratha was attacking the Austin on her way out system, sir. Oh, that was the Austin. Uh, 
Uh, but she jumped out before the karate could inflict any real damage. From the flight record, I see that you took out 16 karate ships, Blue Hair. Spirit didn't ice any of the enemy ships. And she was killed the last time I tried that mission. Blue Hair, I need to see you in my office. Dismissed. Yeah, that's actually the second time I'm recording this because in the first one, Spirit got iced. Shit. Spirit, uh, Chubai, come in. I need to speak to you. Yes, sir. We're having to change some part of the assignments. What will you give me then? Effective immediately, you'll be reassigned. And I didn't read it. Shit. Each of our ships is designed for a specific kind of combat mission. There's the main factor. That's the main factor in assigning pilots to fighter ships for different missions. I know. What did we get? I understand. So I do my best, no matter what ship I'm assigned to. Glad to hear it. Well, what, did he give me a, a hornet or a scimitar? Or what did he give me? I missed the most important important thing. But well, you can always uh, rewind the video and pause it. Talk to Shot Glass. Hi, Lieutenant Colonel. I just heard about those karate defectors. Hard to believe that some of those cats would actually want to be on our side. They brought that Captain Relga and his officers through here a couple of hours ago. And I kept thinking, this is the same kind of guy that ordered the attack on Goddard. He commanded the Frothy. He knows how many of our people he has killed. He could have murdered thousands of our soldiers, taken out dozens of our ships. And there he is, asking us to protect him from the Karathi Empire. Hell, we have already got what we need from him, we could just toss him out of the airlock. And no one would know any different, right? They're sending all those phobos to Confid HQ for debriefing. Good riddance if you ask me. Well, well, actually, um, if it's a war and you're killing enemy soldiers, it's not murder. Hi, Iceman. Hello, blue hair. Sit down and join us. Who are you? We're just talking about your last mission, the Goddard mission. Operation Thor's Hammer. That was a real tough assignment. I was certain, certain that we would not survive it. But we succeeded in our secret mission against all odds. It's a pity you couldn't do anything for those people on Goddard though. Yeah, we are, when we arrived they were dead already. We arrived too late to help them, but we avenged them. None of those karate scum who destroyed Goddard survived. So there was true justice in the end. Who the hell are you? Jazz. You're Lieutenant Colonel Chubai? I hear you're a real hotshot pilot, the best on the Tiger's Claw. Iceman would object. Blue hair, this is Lieutenant Zack Colson. Call me Jazz. I'm a combat pilot on the TCS Austin and a jazz pianist on the side. But what I'd really like is to be transferred to a ship like the Tiger's Claw. I'm already imagining what I could do if I was stationed here. It'd be great. You guys definitely made a piano in your rec room. Need a piano in your rec room though, just like we have on the Austin. I usually play there several nights a week. You should come over and listen sometime. I don't like you. Thanks Jazz. I think I'll do that. No, I don't think I'll do that. I don't like Jazz. So they s took out Hunter to replace him with First Lieutenant Colson. First Lieutenant Colson. Yeah. Oh no, they took out Bossman. I think St. John is Hunter. I always get that mixed up. Oh well, how about we save it? I think we still have time for another mission. 
Oh, we are now in the Corsair system. Okay. Jazz and Doomsday. Doomsday. Wait, I thought Hunter was dead. Wasn't he dead at the beginning of the secret mission thingies? I object. I want spirit. He's too slick for his own good. I don't like him. I'm not allowed to shoot at them, at least not until my cover is blown. That's okay, I never uh, eject anyways. I'm flying at Ralphy. Oh, that's what he was saying uh, after the last mission that I'm reassigned to a Ralphy squadron. Interesting. drivers. Hmm, nice. Like a scimitar, but much more agile. Where are the shields? Up there. What is that to the upper left? That probably has no purpose. Damage? Nothing damaged. We have dump fires and heat seek. Yeah, cool. So I'm not allowed to shoot at anybody. Um, at least not as long as this. I think I'm a Kilrathi. No! We will not attack them. That would be stupid. They don't know we're not kiddies. Jazz is stupid. I mean, if Maniac would pull that shit, I would understand it. They're not attacking, apparently. That's cool. Why am I supposed to shoot them? No, oh, that would be stupid. I'm supposed to maintain my cover. Also. You can fight him on our way back if you have to. Where am I? Oh, in the asteroid field. Ooh la 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 la.
Interesting. Yeah. No. What am I supposed to do? I can't communicate with them. Just fly very close. Oh. Now they know it. Okay. Break an attack. Uh, not the big one. You must be stupid. Hello. Can I get a kitty? A small one, please. Yeah, this one. Drakai. Uh, may I may pause? I said. Thank you. May have to increase the cycle somewhat. Uh, wait. My my shields are gone and. Um, Yeah, that's not working. Jazz, form on my wing. Thank you, and we leave. Which way? This way. Oh, somebody acquired a lock here. No, you are not waiting for anything. You will leave. It was our duty to get information. We probably got it. Oh, somebody blew up. That's weird. What did it explode back there? Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not blowing them up. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? Another Drakai? Only one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's try this again. Continue campaign. The Drothy can't take nothing. I mean, when I'm shooting at a Drothy, it doesn't go up that fast. That's probably because I'm a Sorry. Let's, let's try and attack him. Let's see what happens. That was a stupid idea, apparently. Yeah, screw it. Okay, it is better to just fly through. Oh, 
will not nail any keys. They didn't hit me? That was awesome. No, thank you. We will fly in. Do whatever we have to do. then get the hell out. Thank you. Are you nuts? And we return to the claw. You can kick my Harry butt. Kiss my Harry butt. Actually, they're trying to kick it. Form of my wingman. Where are you? Okay. Looks like it worked. Oh, great. The minefield again. I really hope we got what we're looking for. God damn it! Okay, can we go now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay, now we can go after them if you want to. Break and attack. Yalfies. Yalfies? How many are there? Ah, oh, that's not fun. Excuse me? Okay, I'm sick now. How am I supposed to do that? Can I continue now? I will blow them up now. Come on, who's first?
Leave me in peace. No! Why? <sighs> really? I'm that stupid. I really hate that after they talk to you that you lose your crosshair, your navigational crosshair. I wanted to get it back, but then... I crashed into the ships. God damn it, I'm so sick of that now. They don't blow up because they're like the Kai. Thanks. Oh, there's the hazard now. Well, that helped a lot. Okay. I will just aim below the cap ship. I said I will aim below the cap ship. Okay, that worked somehow. I think. Let's gain some distance and blow them up. Okay, the Piri Guard shall destroy you, he said. Snake here. Let's see. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Where where did all the kitties come from? Just blow them up. Woo! Shit, 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 shit. And you're the last one. Jazz is a little hurt, but not too badly. I don't really know whether you're supposed to do it like that, probably not, but hey, let's see what happens. Maybe it's a total botch, because you're not supposed to destroy them. No! Why? Didn't we kill them on our way in? Good riddance. 
I don't want to do that again. At least we approached the claw from the right angle. Ah, <coughs> uh, it didn't look like that from where I'm sitting. I was able to move in close and target two snake here. Carriers at an F1, sir. Excellent blue hair. We'll get that data detected right away. And I succeeded in destroying both carriers. That wasn't your mission, blue hair. But it'll deal a very de demoral demoralizing blow to the enemy. Good work. Flying the Kilrathi fighter didn't work very well for us. We were ambushed by several enemy ships. It was a tough fight, sir. Blue hair, your flight recorder says that you killed 20. Yeah. Jazz came back with no kills. Yeah, he didn't have the uh, cheat mode enabled. Alright, we transmitted a message indicating that you ran into some rocks and that asteroid fields. With any luck, the Karate will believe that you were destroyed. Get some rest, Chuba. Dismissed. Uh, now I want uh, more than a bronze star. I killed 20, including two cap ships. Yeah, come on, what do we get? A silver star. What do we have? Hello blue hair, what can I get for you? Just one of my usual Sam. No problem blue hair, I have been feeling really uneasy about something. We've been hiding in this Corsair system for, from all those carrots and we've been lucky. Those cats seem to believe we left the area. But what if our luck changes? Then we kill them. Five battle fleets against the claw? That's unlikely odds my friend. <laughs> He's probably right. Hi spirit. Blue hair, I just saw Colonel Halkian in the corridor a few minutes ago. He was speaking with Valkar, the Kilrathi captain. Do you know, I had never seen a Kilrathi before? I thought I would hate him because of what his people have done to us. But I did not feel anything at all, not hatred or anything else. Only empty. Completely empty. Sometimes I feel like we've been fighting forever. That this war will never be over. The Gilrathi started this war spirit, but I know we'll end it someday. I hope so, my friend. I truly hope so. Yeah, and about this Raka guy, this Gilrathi, I'm actually... In the in the box with the game, there is some sort of um, you know some, an excerpt uh, if the few a few of the first pages of the first Wing Commander novel, Freedom Flight uh, from '92, like five or ten pages, and um, yeah, you can read the beginning of the book. It appears to be quite a decent book. It was written by Mercedes Lackey and Alan Guan, whoever that may be. The first pages read quite okay, and you get to know this Relga guy a little better, and Hunter plays a major part in it. Mm, yeah, so you might wanna, I don't know, if you don't own the game, you might wanna check it out. Maybe you can get the book on eBay or something. Mm -hmm. And now an excerpt from the first Wing Commander novel Freedom Flight, published by Bayan Books in December 92, and available at your nearest bookstore or by mail through Origin. Uh, probably not. Join Hunter K. Relga Nahalas and his sworn aide Kira as they challenge the Emperor's might to a free world. So they say. Okay, let's say hi to Knight. Listen, Blue Hair, I was just talking to Dr. Kalza about those Kirilati renegades. They debriefed Captain Relga with Neo Skolpamine and they learned some interesting stuff. 
He couldn't say what, of course, just that it would help us against the enemy. I'm a little worried though, I mean this guy could be a Kilrathi agent. Trained for Trank, -tam, uh, trank Cam interrogations. What if he was lying? If we go into battle with bad tactical data, it's all over for us. Even if we have good data, we're in trouble. All those battle fleets against the Tiger's Claw? The mission at Goddard was against one battle fleet and that was nearly impossible. Like Shotglass says, those aren't friendly odds. Yeah, you're right. We should be safe here in the Corsair system. But if we go back to Fureka, what then? Then the shit hits the fan, my friend. Uh huh. So, how about we save it? And call it the video. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.